Welcome to the Secret Sauce Podcast. This is a show about relationships with staff, with students, with yourself, with building culture in your classroom, your school, your district, and becoming personally developed so that you can be professionally developed. Be sure and follow our podcast so you don't miss a show. And we're booking now for the 23-24 school year um, for any type of PD that you need, keynotes, seminars, workshops, just get in touch with me. I would love to come to your to your school, your district, and share the secret sauce with you. So let's jump right into the next episode. Here we go. Hey, welcome to the Secret Sauce Podcast. I'm your host, Kip Schubert, and this is episode number 30. And i um, got a special guest with me today. His name is Steve Wolf. He is the founder, uh, creator of Wild Heart Teacher, and he's also um, just been a big mentor for me. And was a big reason um, why uh, my wife and I packed up and moved out here to the beautiful mountains of Woodland Park, Colorado. And near his Wild Heart Teacher uh, retreats in Divide, Colorado. So, Steve, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks. Good to be here. Number 30, huh? Nice. Number 30. That means you scrape at the bottom when they get to me. (laughs) And and it's not that... uh, that lineman number you're used to wearing. It's a little bit you lower. Know, so. I, I was a fullback. I was a quarterback in high school and a fullback in college. Ah, and the, but then you got to go into uh, the big time. As yeah, a, I, uh, I, I, as yeah a, I did wear that during a Campbell Sioux commercial. It's right. Um, so, Steve, tell us a little bit about, uh, for our listeners, um, who Steve Wolf is, a little bit about your story, and maybe a defining moment that you've had that's really set you on, on the course that you're on as an educator and as a man? Well, I was, I was born at a, at a very young age and, uh, and then it took off from there. <laughs> Actually, no, I, you know, I, I taught, I, I started teaching to speak. I went to the, uh, the Harvard of the Midwest school, Kansas state university and went straight through and got my master's while I was there. And, and then I had uh, a taught in Topeka. And uh, when I was teaching there during the, I taught for four years. I had a, a mentor named Chuck Sodergren. And Chuck, Chuck passed away a couple of years ago, but he made a huge difference in my life. One of the things that he said, he says, he said, take what you do very seriously, but don't take yourself seriously at all. And, uh, and uh, I got so excited to be a principal because Chuck was. And, and so I was about 27 years old. I ran off to be a principal. And, and, uh, and so I was a middle school principal for 18 years and a superintendent for 12. And, uh, and when I, uh, my la- after my last year being a superintendent, I started a uh, nonprofit called Wild Heart Teacher because it was right. The pandemic was, it was just messed everybody. Up. Everybody was getting messed up before. And now politically, everything else thing is, is just gone down the tubes, especially if you're living in a place like Oklahoma. Um, <laughs> it, it's, uh, you know, and uh, it, it's like uh, Oklahoma is going terrible and Kansas is saying, hold my beer, you know, and, right. and uh, trying to catch up and, God, just and the teachers are getting beat up, uh, even right here in, in our school district. Yeah, you've seen it, and uh, it's it, it's it's so hard. So what we wanted to do is make sure that we uh, um, helped our, our educators. So we started this nonprofit where we bring teachers clear out here to uh, Colorado in the Rocky Mountains, most beautiful spot in the world, at a, at a camp called John Wesley Camp. It's owned by the Methodist Church, although we're not affiliated with that at all. And uh, we bring in amazing speakers. We have uh, all kinds of cool activities. Uh, we're even adding going to uh, the hot springs this year. Those people that want to go to the hot springs and oh, I saw soak, that. Uh, and uh, enjoy and hikes and horses and you know you name it, fishing, and uh, the great speakers, amazing food, and we have three days where we just bring everybody together where they connect. And really, our focus is on making sure that those educators are seen heard and loved Uh, our educators do a beautiful job of doing that for kids but we suck at doing that for one another and so that's something we almost have to put first uh, make sure that otherwise we're going to die in the vine and uh, so uh, we focus on connection then we focus on releasing all the crud that's been put on us forever and and, uh, we have some neat exercises we go through to make sure that happens and it's it's beautiful and then we uh Focus on believing in what you're doing makes a difference. And uh, and the, you're making a difference that lasts on long after you leave this world. And then the, the last thing we do is focus on rise. Let's go back 
uh, together better than we were before and, uh, and, and to keep on rising. And so that's, uh, that's kind of our focus. And uh, we only charge 50 bucks for all of that, include your room, your board, your, all the activities, all the speakers, everything. And, and I have to jump in on this with you, Steve, because uh, for everybody listening in there, it is, I've, I've been to several of them the last couple summers, and um, it is the absolute best professional development conference retreat educational experience um especially for the price of 50 bucks that i have ever been involved in and it's it's not like anything um pd that you've ever ever been into um and you're going to leave feeling refreshed and recharged and refueled and and find that passion again to get back into to teaching these kids and dealing with and uplifting and empowering staff. So it's an amazing thing that you're doing. But is there, you know, as, you, as you've as you moved from being a, a teacher to a principal to a superintendent to now Wild Heart Teacher, is there a, a defining moment in your life that you can kind of look back on that kind of set you on this path? You know, um, I, I knew my, my dad was a guidance counselor. I knew what I wanted to go to the, into education. I knew that was something I could do where I can make a difference it would last on long after I'm gone from this world. And, uh, and it, it's a, such a blessing. You know, I have former students come to Wild Heart Teacher. They're educators now. Boy, my heart just, ah, it's so cool. Yeah. And I see that they're going on and making a difference and, and see the differences that, that they're making. And so uh, I, I think there's some defining moments that, you know, not necessarily one. One was just the time I spent with Chuck Sodergren. He planned it every day where his plan period was the same his break was the same as my plan period, so we'd spend time together. Um, and, and, you know, it had different events. I, I, I've i been very fortunate. If there's an award in education that's out there, state or nationally, I've probably gotten it, and uh, which is kind of cool. But, uh, you know, that and a dollar get me a pop out of the machine. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it, you know, that, but those, those, those helped me have a voice to continue to do what I've done, whether it be state principal of the year, milk award, uh, hall of fame stuff, all that junk, um, help helped. And, uh, moving forward, it gives you a voice, uh, and, and it allowed me to, to be involved politically and otherwise, uh, especially in Kansas to be able to make, to make a, a difference. And as a superintendent, you know, it, it, it was such a neat opportunity to, to be able to, uh, the love on teachers and lift, lift and staffily. We call it staffily. Everybody that's in our district that cares whether a student has seen, heard, love. I don't care if you're the bus driver, if you're the cook, if you're the superintendent, the principal, teacher, whoever. And so uh, that made it. You know, one of the big things that made a difference uh, in my life is is in my life I've never fallen down. I've only only fallen up. And uh, I had a, a son that we'd adopted when he was 14, 15 years old. And, and uh, he was in the foster system since he was the age of three, where they found him on the streets of Wichita, cut up, drunk and naked. Uh, African-American boy that, that uh, was stuck out in a foster home, a little bitty district that I was superintendent at while my dad was uh, ill. And uh, I only had one son left at home. The rest of them graduated, moved on. And, and, uh, we thought, you know, if we put this, take this kid into our home, it'll make a huge difference. And he did beautiful. He did great he, all the way through high school. He was one of the fastest kids in the state, broke school records. And he'd rush for 400 yards in a game once, 300 a couple of times, 200 another couple of times. And went on to play college and in the Army. But his, both of his biological parents were addicts. And uh, and uh, he had time and money at a base and and he got involved in drugs and really had a heck of a time getting off of him to the point where he committed suicide in, uh, in uh, July of 2020. And uh, I didn't deal with that well. Um, I, you know, I know what you're supposed to do. Alcohol is a depressant. Well, if you're depressed, why would you take a depressant? depressant? And the answer is, I'm stupid. Um, and and I was started drinking to get over that and, uh, and actually got a DUI. And if you're a superintendent and you get a DUI, um, that's a headline. And yeah. uh, most people have a small print in the back of the paper. Yeah, not me. And, uh, and, and that was a big falling point for me. 
huge falling point. And I love my school board. They were beautiful people. Um, but, uh, you know, it was the right thing uh, for me no longer to be superintendent. And, uh, but I needed to do something to make a difference. And, and, uh, it, and I, you know, that, that got me off of drinking to solve my problems. It got me off of, uh, um, you know, so many things. And it, and it gave me the opportunity to take on this wild heart teacher thing. And I, I said, this is something that is necessary. No one in the United States is doing this. No one in the world, as far as I know, is doing what we're doing. And, uh, and I have some amazing friends that, that jumped in. We, uh, uh, Kelly Wolf and I kind of financed this ourselves the first year. And then the next year, a gentleman named Greg Case, who's the CEO of Aon Corporation, one of the most amazing men I've ever met. Uh, you know, he's the head of this worldwide conglomerate. And he's, he said, Steve, I'll send you some money. He sent me about 50000 to be able to do that. And, uh, and this year I've had several grants. I've had a, a gentleman, one of my closest friends named Donnie Young. I've had a, uh, the Rees Foundation out of Garden City. I've got another foundation to pitch money in. Greg Case said he'll backfill. Uh, it, um, the, the people in business, the thing that deeply care about educators are funding this thing. So I can do it for 50 bucks. We don't want anybody to miss out because of money. And so um, that was a defining moment for me when, when my son died. And, uh, and me trying to deal with that. I didn't take one moment to mourn. I was, uh, Joe Pepley, the officer came to told me one day in my office, the next morning at seven o'clock, I was back in the office because we had to deal with the pandemic and, uh, who else was going to do it? Superintendent. I mean, that's, that's my job. And, uh, if I didn't do it, it wasn't going to happen. And so stupidly, I didn't get help. Uh, I did go on and get some help with therapy and otherwise. And, and, uh, yeah, it, it, that was a huge moment in my life, but it, it's taken a course. I I fell up, and I'm able to make a huge difference in the lives of of educators, um, and, and allow other educators like you. And holy cow, Kevin Honeycutt! We've got yeah. Kevin Honeycutt never misses, and uh, just an amazing guy, an amazing speaker, world all over the world. I think this last week he was on the east and west coast. Um, so. Uh, we wouldn't have been able to do that had I not fallen. It would just wouldn't have happened. Yeah, and it's. I think it's kind of cool how how if we're willing to choose to do so, that a lot of times that adversity um, that I know you faced and and I know that that I faced that adversity leads to an advantage. And it, it may not be yeah. what we thought. It may not be what we saw for ourselves. But if we're if we're if we get that right mindset and we're willing to 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 fail forward or fall up as you call it, yeah, I mean that adversity turns into an advantage. Those those obstacles become opportunity, and those struggles become our strength. And you know, just you know, I I know how much Chris meant to you, yeah. and and how hard that was for you, and at the same time, you've turned you've turned that tragedy into a triumph. And I think that honors Chris, and and I just hope that um, our, I hope our listeners and the educators out there get a chance to come and be a part of Wild Heart Teacher and see what you're doing because it's just uh, again such an amazing thing. And like you said, it's not being done anywhere. No. And I was talking to Josh Tovar out of Texas last night, and you know he was talking about SEL for adults, and I immediately thought of Wild Heart Teacher because that's what yeah. it is. Yeah. You know, and it's just. Um, you know, recharging and re- refu- refueling our passion. Um, one of the last questions I've got for you is, is about relationships. And I know being part of Jocelyn's Renaissance and the, the, the big, the big hall of famer that you are there, um, re- relationships plays a big part in, in what you are about, but maybe share one relationship that you've either had with a student or a staffily, or just personally, that's really impacted you as a, as an educator. You know, you, you uh, part of Renaissance that, that started that you achieve what you reward, recognize, respect, and reinforce. And for years, that's all we focused on. And uh, it really started hitting me the most important R is relationship and uh, and building those relationships. And it's hard to point to one um, a re- relationship in, in general. There, there's some people that made a huge difference in my life um, spiritually, uh, people uh, that 
led me into my conversion to be able to do some things. A gentleman named Paul Bias that uh, was the father of my girlfriend in high school, um, you know, and then people like Marlon Taus, there were teachers uh, that, that just took me and, and, and lifted me up, and Randy Clark, and and just so many people had little pieces of that. And even now, a relationship I have that's making a huge difference in my life is a relationship. I had a student that was a junior in high school that was uh, um, when I'm my first year as a principal. Well, he now is JRI Hospitality. He owns that. He's yeah. the CEO of that. Does, none of this happens unless he Jason Ingermanson comes back in. So that relationship is hugely important to me. Um, I love seeing him succeed, but then he turned around and invested back in me. Uh, and and uh, so I, there are so many of those relationships. Um, and, you know, relationship with Kevin Heineken. I, I don't have one that really stepped out other than maybe Chuck Sodegren, uh, my, my first principal. Uh, it's so many relationships that have met, that have built me to be who I am. And uh, I'm a people collector. Um, I, I don't let anybody go. I I, uh, I use them to, to build me and allow myself to build into them as well. And so I was able to build into Jason. And now, now he turns around and builds into me. And yeah. he impacts teachers through uh, all he does. And I think that's the – that's the beauty of relationships for me, and that's that's why I'm an educator is the relationship part. And and I think that so often we, as teachers and educators, as coaches, administrators, um, as wild heart director as yourself, we, we spend so much of our time feeding into those relationships and other people. And sometimes we forget to, to, to step back and look at everything that is in everybody that is feeding into us. Um, cause I know that that's one of the big things that, that I strive to do is to, to give away everything I can, cause I know that it's going to be given back to me. You're, um, you're going to get it back in, in spades, man. Yeah. And, um, so as we, as we get to a close here, Steve, and again, I'm just, I'm honored because I consider you a, a good friend and a mentor, yeah. and I'm glad that you have taken the time to, to be on the podcast. Um, but if there's one of them. Or, or one nugget of gold that you could leave with everybody listening, um, what would that be? You know, um, I keep looking back and, and something that really helped me succeed was something Chuck, Chuck Sodergren just said early. He goes, Steve, uh, you know, we need to take what we do seriously, but don't take yourself seriously at all. And boy, has that freed me up to enjoy life. Um, you know, we've got to find joy in what we do. Joy is going to be a focus this year on Wild Heart Teacher. And we, and, and so we're, you know, the, and that has allowed me to be a joyful human being. It's allowed me to enjoy um, everything that I've been involved in. And so I, that's a simple little nugget, but uh, it's, uh, it's something that has guided me through so much of who I am and what I do. Yeah, and I'm, I'm excited for, for Wild Heart this summer because I know you've shared with me before about the joy. That's kind of the theme, and and you just exude that anyway. So I I can't imagine how cool it's going to be this summer and, and with that being the theme. And before we go, I want to give you a chance again for our listeners. Go ahead and, and tell everybody where they can find out about Wild Heart Teacher, um, find out more information about it. Anything else you want to share about Wild Heart Teacher, go ahead and plug that. Yeah, I like that. I like to joke the Wild Heart Teacher is a big old middle school camp for teachers, <laughs> uh, and, and you and you you'll get ten uh, uh, ten hours of uh, professional development. We have a little certificate and everything that we uh, have, and and you're, you're going to have some amazing people there doing that. This year we're full. Um, yeah, we only allow forty, and we've moved it from thirty five thirty to thirty five to forty. This is our third year, and we are full. And. Uh, and, and we, we don't advertise much. So here's where you want to go find out. You want to go uh, to www.wildheartteacher, just wildheartteacher.org, or on Facebook, go to Wild Heart Teacher. And, uh, and we, we have the dates and everything, and that's where you go to sign up, and you pay your 50 bucks and you're in. And so we had people from 28 different states last year. I think we're at 30 states this year. 
That's awesome. uh, from, the, from around the nation that come in. Well, if you have to fly in, we pick you up at the airport. We Absolutely. get you back to the airport. We we make sure you're taken care of. We we want the whole thing to only cost you fifty bucks, unless uh, you want us to provide bedding. It's another fifteen because that's what we have to pay for laundering. And, uh, right. and a lot of people will come in the night before too, and that's great. Yeah, and I know I've got um, there's some friends of mine from Oklahoma that came last year that are coming back. Um, All right but also some new ones from Oklahoma that are coming for the first time. And so I'm excited well, we have a to ton see of people them. from Oklahoma. We had a school district that, uh, um, at, uh, oh, up in, up in Northeast Colorado, um, starts with a T. A- anyway, it, it, there's a school district up there where the foundation would pay for every teacher to come pay for the transportation, pay for everything. And, and so I stopped by that school district to try to talk to administrators Normally, I'm welcomed in open arms. I've never been. I mean, people, most people know me. And and uh, I went to the uh, super, uh, Tahlequah, that's where it was. Yeah. I went to the superintendent's office. They, they had no one in there had a time for me. So I went to each school. Everybody blew me off. And and they had everything paid for. All they had to do was get the information and run with it. And uh, and every administrator blew me off. And uh, nice. and. In Tahlequah, lost. Oklahoma, they must have perfect things happening there, and have no need for yeah. me. They're and, lost. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I, I think the more that you know, it's awesome that you're already sold out this year. Um, yeah. That's because you were still taking people at this time last year, and oh, we're taking gonna, people clear up till a week before, whenever, yeah. because we don't advertise much. Those are our yeah. two advertisements, and it's going to get bigger and bigger as people can. Because I, I have not. Um, you know the times that I've spent out there with you, I have not had one educator come away saying they weren't they weren't changed in a, in a yeah. great way by being out there. So, I mean, you know, again, what's interesting is we went to Michigan and did one for a whole school district. They that's rented a awesome camp. Too. Yeah, yeah. With Jay Gross. So, uh, yeah, Jay was there, yeah. uh, and uh, James uh, set up the whole thing, and and uh, so it was cool. Yeah, awesome. Well, Steve, I. Uh, Again, appreciate you giving me your time, sharing with, with everybody your heart for and passion for Wild Heart Teacher and for just uplifting and empowering educators and, and for your story about Chris. And, um, again, it's been my honor um, to have you on. And so I just want to thank you for being here with us. Well, Kip, I'm proud of you, man. I'm proud of you all, all that you do. So keep it going. Love you. And you, and you guys, uh, yeah, we'd love to have you. Big, it, Next year, register if you've not registered this year. All right, guys. Um, I appreciate you listening in this, this, uh, this episode. So we'll see you next time and keep climbing. Hey, we appreciate you listening to our podcast. Let's connect and impact lives together. Leave me a comment on this episode or find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube at The Secret Sauce with Kip Schubert. We would be honored if you would share this episode on your social media. Continue to share your story. It matters. Reach back over that mountain. Every educator, every student needs to feel loved, heard, and valued. So dish out that secret sauce and be that Sherpa to guide others to the summit. Till next time, let's stay all in and all together.